how to create a niche store on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started step by step in your own Shopify store and you can make this any kind of niche and you can easily brand this and go into any kind of category. You can make this specialized or just work with the basic store and once you have more product you can make it more of a general store and branch out while still being within the same brand. So let's get into it. Now to get started all you have to do is head on over to shopify.com and Shopify provides you with a free trial. If we take a look at the pricing of Shopify, it starts at $39, but currently you get it for free for two weeks. And then for three months, it is only going to be $1 a month. So it's pretty affordable and you don't have any credit card requirements. So to get started with using Shopify for free, simply click on start free trial on the top right. And then you will enter, you know, all your details. So I'm just starting. Click on next what you would like to do next now after that you want to enter your store name now this is one of the most essential and important steps whenever you are looking to build a niche store you want something that has uh, brandability yet is also uh, very diverse so let's say I am initially I want to sell maybe phone cases uh, or let's say I want to sell uh, tech accessories or whatever it might be let's say it's clothing I want a brand name that is not going to limit me to only clothing yet it will also somehow represent clothing so something like clothing.com that is not going to be a good brand name clothing for women or, or something like that is not going to be a good name you want a brandable name so let's say fresh and white that could be like a brandable name or Vivian so Vivian is like a random word so Vivian, uh, you know, whatever spelling you want to do, whatever you want, so whatever uh, kind of name you want, it needs to be something that is brandable. So I could literally sell anything under the brand name of Vivian and I could be selling home items, I could be selling home goods, I could be selling uh, couches, I could be selling uh, decorative items, clothing, watches, phone cases, uh, men's fashion, whatever. It could all be marketed under the brand name of Vivian. So I'm going to use this. Now after that, you will enter your location. Then you will have to continue with your Shopify store. So I'm just going to be using Apple to register my store. And now, as you guys can see, uh, Shopify is building my store and we will get started with setting it up. Now, the first thing I like to set up is my products. And whenever you have products, I recommend if you're doing dropshipping for a lot of you guys, I know you want to get started with dropshipping. And you're probably using aliexpress or alibaba so one thing you should keep in mind is whenever you're using uh, aliexpress you want to use you know test out the items test out the aliexpress items if they work well if you like them then you want to upgrade and directly contact a wholesale supplier you know integrating aliexpress is fine for a small amount of time but you should try to reduce that and get uh, you know a direct contact with the supplier simply because you will be able to get better prices you can uh, contact any kind of sourcing agency there are a lot of sourcing agencies that will enable you to get products from those platforms and get them at shorter times with greater discounts so if you're at the beginner phase, you obviously need AliExpress and to do that, simply click on settings on the bottom left. Then you will click on apps and sale channels, click on Shopify app store. And once you click on Shopify app store, this will open up the Shopify app store. Just search for AliExpress. Now you guys will be able to see all these different AliExpress importers. You have Deezers, you have Ali Dropship, you have JudgeMe, you know, a bunch of different integrations. I like to use Deezers. Deezers is a nice and effective one. So I'm just going to click on add application over here. And now I will show you guys how you can add a product to your store. So we will click on install app over here. And I'm just going to get started with the free version. I'm logging into AliExpress as well. Just so my Deezus account can now take info from my AliExpress account. And now we are on Deezus. So now Deezus will link to my Shopify store and I can add products. Now, uh, if I go on to my uh, find suppliers, I can find any kind of product and search it on AliExpress and I can find it there. Let's say I want to, in my Vivian brand, let's say I want to get started with home decor. I'm just going to search for home decor over here. And you actually have a heart winning products list. 
and you can use those specific lists to get a better idea of what's going to sell better but let's say i want to sell this little artificial plant so this is what the price is on aliexpress all the information and all i have to do is click on add to import list click on go back to import list and now once this has been added i can push this to my store so i can do that but before i like to push it to my store i like to click on the bottom left over here where it says edit product so you want to edit the product so it appears a little professional i don't want such a long name on my shopify store i want it to be more professional so so let's say i just want it to be bonsai tree decor and just like that i have the name then i have the collections i can add i can add all of that information over here the tags the vendor all of that i have my main image i can also change this into another image if i want then i have my variant so let's say i only want to sell a couple of variants i don't want to sell all of these i want to sell these variants the ones that are the bonsai tree and i don't want to sell any of the other ones so i'm just going to select these ones and after that i have my description so i'm just going to delete the rest of them so i'm going to select the ones i don't want to keep and i will delete them first in the form of a bulk edit and now i will click on action and uh, i can see remove SKUs on the right side of my screen so i'm just going to click on yes and now i only have seven variants remaining i have the price value compare price value and stock to shopify now after that i can change the description obviously you want to change up the look of your description and i will just change all of this and i'm just going to enter you know like the material and then we have the overview which has more detailed pictures maybe i don't want this section at all so you guys can choose to totally remove it as well you can see you have all of these options and you can click on source and you can just remove the source material like so and just like that i've removed all of that then you have your images obviously you want to select only the images that you are you know selling only of those products so I will just select the variant pictures it shows over here which are the variants that i've added i'm just going to select the variant pictures that i'm offering like so now after that i have my shipping info i can choose the different countries that i'm shipping to and click on save over here and now once i've optimized my listing i will click on this icon over here and push it to shopify i have my automatic shopify pricing rule and then i will just click on push to shopify and now just like that the product has now been added to my shopify store it has my vendor all that information you can choose to add more info later on as well if you want now once i have this ready i will now start showing you guys how to set up the appearance of the website so currently this is our store and this is like a catalog and i'm gonna make sure all of these products are active set as active and you know this is like our empty shopify store so to start editing my shopify store i will just click on online store on the bottom left and from here i will begin editing it so i have the don theme and i can just click on customize and from here you just have a basic drag and drop editor you can select any kind of banner click on select image and then start uploading your image and just like that we have a very nice niche store added now another thing you need to do is to make sure you add a domain name so you can use a platform like godaddy namecheap or any other domain name uh, registrar to get started with your own domain simply click on settings and you guys will be able to see your domain name information and you can just edit that as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.